Okay, so I have an example network here and all of the interconnects between the routers um, are just enabled a visualization of the routing protocol that is enabled on all of these interfaces. And you can see that all of these interfaces are using um, RIP RIP, indicated by the R here. And if you look down on the bottom right, you can see that that R means that they're using RIP. Now, if you happen to have uh, more than 16 hops in your network, so if you've measured the network topology and you have more than 16 hops going across uh, a network somewhere, you will not be able to use RIP. So rather than sort of configuring a network to use BGP between all of the autonomous systems, I'm just going to bypass the use of BGP because I'm too lazy to configure it. And I'm going to configure it using OSPF. So I'm just going to select, and I'm holding down um, control here, and I'm selecting each of these links. So after I selected all those links, I want to change the routing protocol to OSPF, which will enable me to have um, a route, sort of a, a link between two stations that is longer than 16 hops in length. So I go to protocols, IP, routing, configure routing protocols. Now from that, I can deselect RIP and I can select OSPF. And if I click OK, we should be able to now see OSPF is indicated by an O and we can see that OSPF is now configured across all of these interfaces. So it is now the routing protocol that is used um, in order to build a route, now in my example, between the two Skype um, callers and also between, of course, the, the background um, loading LANs and the, and the web server. Thanks for listening.